Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigal here and welcome back to our video. So we get the patch note for the newest update 6.3.2 and keep in mind that uh, this is going to be most of the changes we're going to see on day one but with big updates there might be something that's hidden that's for the future. So if we don't see a new character release named here it doesn't mean a new character is not going to release or a new soul rate for example. It means just uh, not yet and we'll see that in the game files as soon as... Uh, we eventually get them from the people who data mine the game but uh, for now let's see what they were going to find in this patch so new daily objective daily conquer complete seven daily objective to unlock powerful uh, rewards like pla prismatic shards okay it tells me then what a prismatic shard is whatever we got quality of life improvements but yeah i'm curious about the daily objectives uh, we'll take a look at that later in the game uh, okay, so improved filtering. Quickly assemble uh, the ultimate team with the new uh, new filtering for gear, hero, and artifact. Bro, finally filters from artifacts. I was complaining about that in the video that I previously did about what I'm expecting from this update, and we got some artifact filtering. What I would want for teams would be I, I don't know what they did with the hero filtering might be better than it was previously but what i want is preset teams the same way they get it in mk mobile that would be great okay and shatter multiple artifacts bro that's are they listening to me at this point i just talked about this i mean again i'm not the only one who talks about this I'm not the only one who has those problems but this is weird seeing exactly two teams i i didn't just mention in the like previous video i kept mentioning stuff like this in the past so i understand that there's no way they fixed it in like three days since i released the previous video but bro this is crazy uh next up we got new profile pictures i don't really care about those we got the wonder woman uh, uh day events a little bit of a spoiler here i guess uh, free claimable tank is going to be one of those chests where it's going to be 50 shards for either of all those wonder woman characters and it's fine they're all garbage except for classic wonder woman and you get to get her fairly easy so not a big deal we got the login calendar i i like that i like that rather than just giving me like 50 shards for wonder woman in the mailbox or giving me a 200 gold i like a login calendar as bad as it can be there's usually something in there worth getting a classic wonder woman at rena invasion that's great and classic wonder woman uh, and now uh, golden armor wonder woman challenge yeah i don't really care that much about her i mean she's kind of useful now with the um, league invasions because uh, she has an ability that can swap the enemy active hero and you sometimes need that uh, and then we're gonna have uh, though they don't say anything about the chest because i think we're gonna also have a sale probably with the one room and chests then we got halloween events uh, again daily login calendar we have a daily login calendar streak almost at this point with uh, like some pauses in between okay so halloween profile picture and all that stuff uh, probably there's gonna be some sale as well even though they don't say here then we got the uh, spooky soul rates with kingdom of madness and dark knights i mean it makes sense bro please add the silver banshee challenge i mean come on at this point just add the silver banshee challenge in here and it, it's gonna be all good uh halloween login calendar okay elder something invades that's great and yeah that's pretty much it again there might be a bit more and now we get to hero bug fixes so casting passive uh, antigua scientia is now a fix to provide uh, a combo meter bonus okay i didn't really know that didn't work in the past i don't even know what the passive does and I mean, if it only provides combo meter, I don't really care because I'm not really using specials with Constantine, but I guess I'm happy that's fixed. Okay, Raiden passive flawless victory. Now, uh, I'm sorry, the cat's going crazy. Uh, but yeah, Raiden passive flawless victory now gives the buff to... Uh, what? Bro, what? Raiden's passive flawless victory? I, I thought they fixed it when I read over it previously. Did they just... Bro, what? Now gives damage buff to the first Mortal Kombat team member in the slot for each opponent's power bar. 
Are you retarded? It's literally the bug. This is literally the bug. The flawless victory gives the buff to the first in slot team member. That was a bug. It's not supposed to work that way. It's supposed to give it to the whole team as it did all the way until this point. You basically confirmed the bug as an intended feature. What the fuck? Bro, what? Nah, nah. This is, this is insane, bro. This is absolutely insane here. Raiden's passive plus victory uh, is now is now gives okay is now gives a damage buff to the first Mortal Kombat team member in the slot for each opponent's empty power bar. Yeah, that's how it used to work before the sub date, and that was a problem because that's not how it's supposed to function. Again, I, I'm probably ranting for no reason. This might be a mistake. They might have just fixed it, and I just need to test it in the game, and everything's gonna be fine. But this is crazy, man. They literally called a bug an intended feature. I mean, as long as they don't fix Nora's Snow Globe bug that allows you to deal dot damage without Scorpion having to tag in and out, it, it's fine. We can call this an intended feature as long as you let that be an intended feature on the other hand. But, but boy, this is insane. I, I've never seen this. Text adjustments, I don't really care too much about them. Improved display of uh, buffs for Zatanna, Scorpion, Hello Swamp Thing, Girl Steel, Supergirl, uh, Mythic Wonderman. I know what they mean by that. Like, my uh, pr main problem with the display of buffs and debuffs was why are you displaying only three or four? Four, I think it's four. Four of them at a time. Why are you displaying only four of them at a time when there's so much empty space on the screen that is not used and you could display all of them? Or the other problem, why do you consider certain things that are, are more worth showing me? For example, at some point, I did not know how much my Jokerized batterings last. And uh, uh, I could see that one of the slots, because there's four slots, and that's a debuff that you apply to the enemy. One of those slots was occupied to let me know that the enemy has done super move. Yeah, bro, that's for sure more important than the duration of my debuff on them. So that's what I want to see with the display here. I don't really care if they weren't showing the percentages properly or something like that. I just want to see more of them. We got room on the screen, put more of them there. And we fixed the bug that allowed Rise of Krypton Boss Harley to heal from Hazard. Yeah, that was uh, that was definitely a funny situation. And uh, I'm glad that's fixed, I guess. And this is crazy, bro. We added a new option for players to earn additional sword attempts by watching ads. I've read something on the Discord and they said it's uh, at maximum a 7th attempt. Again, gonna take a look at that in-game. But... Again, this is weird. I don't know how to how to feel about this. Because on one hand, it's it's garbage ads. You don't really want to make players go through that. It's toxic for a game's growth to just put ads in your face. But at the same time, they're not really taking anything away. It's like something in addition for being a good boy and watching an ad. It's still cringe, but it's probably a good a good money making type of deal. But again, it's very scummy, man, because, I mean, I'm probably going to do it to get seven fights instead of six on a video. And we're now going to have the seven best sorry teams. And I'm going to make a bunch of videos on that. And since I already record this for a little bit of a job, I'm probably going to watch that ad every single day from now on. So I know how to feel about this. I really don't. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments gonna probably do another video where i test things out in game and uh, i'll see you on the next one goodbye